Hi. <laughs> it has been a really long time since we posted a video. The last time we created something was on my first day of school. And I think we felt optimistic about continuing to create content and really put a focus. We really believed that we were going to have the capability to just continue to like create videos and just have this flow happen. We knew we were going to be busy, but woo, like, sorry, I feel really I always feel awkward when people are walking by, but it definitely just came at us a little more intense than we originally anticipated, especially adding preparing a house to sell or to, to put on the market while we only have one day off together a week and are, you know, mm -hmm. just trying to find a flow in life in general. In terms of how our dynamics work, when I get overwhelmed, I put on the brakes and I want to stop. And when Elliot gets overwhelmed, he hits the gas and goes even faster. Yeah, I become so, frantic. Oh yeah, so that's the thing is we're officially moved out. Uh, we're officially moved into the house now. That feels really good because like you were just saying, this is our first weekend where we're not trying to get things done. We just truly had a pretty chill day today. Yeah, well we got lucky because, make a long story short, the house ended up going on the market actually faster than we had anticipated and we didn't end up doing like the final touches that were kind of strangely weighing heavy on us just the to make it. The final touches were painting the whole entire painting house. Painting the whole house and, and patching things up and fixing a door and and it's such a seller's market and so people have been coming in and out throughout the weekend and I think that was a huge relief for you particularly yeah. but so yeah we have several offers on the house now too which is really great news the the market where we're at is definitely a seller's market and it's not uncommon at all to get tons of offers in the first weekend over asking price so we um, are excited to see that is happening for us too so I think we're feeling really excited that the house we're done we don't have to do any more chores or labor there um and that we're getting offers and know that it will sell but now we just have like took everything that we had left and just like plopped it in this house and just are now trying to get settled in and definitely like you were saying it it was a lot more challenging it was exciting in theory and then uprooting your family as you're starting your job uh, to keep repeating ourselves it just was a lot all at one time and i don't think we realized what we were setting ourselves up for in that moment but i think it we're about to experience the payoff of that is what we're ho really hopeful of but mm -hmm. especially it's definitely been like a growing yeah i'm yeah mm -hmm. I know we're very tired today. We've been trying to pick up the camera and figure out what we want to say too, but. Well, and it's hard too, like when you, when we only have like a short blip of time to actually relax, like we really enjoy this and it is so much fun, but it's so much fun when you also have a good flow and you feel like you are in touch with one another and that you've been in communication with one another and, and you have the time to do it. And then when you only have just like a sliver of free time, it's so much more challenging and it feels like really heavy and exhausting and we don't ever want this to feel like that. To add on that, like being storytellers and creating things together is what we ultimately want to be doing. That's our dream. But it's hard when we're trying to balance everything else going on in life now because it feels like this is our passion project. But it has to, it's been on the back burner and it's hard to find a way to put it where it's still really fun while we're still working and that's why we're really excited for this next chapter because mm -hmm. we are excited to be storytellers and having this be our main focus but and speaking of which so we yeah we basically have everything in we're hoping to do videos that introduce you to our new roommates that's our, next um, our new house um, where we're staying because it really is just kind of like a fun little family vibe we feel like college kids but without like that college angst and anxiety like more stability and security and just more of like a commune family kind of feel and we're just tapping into that and that feels really good and really exciting and I told Elliot like as we were going through this really intense change we were we had like those tense feelings and and it was like okay we're gonna continue making big bold choices is this how we want to treat each other and is this how we want to respond to one another and we really did recognize that like this is a really heavy chat like a really intense stressful chapter and and to know that we're starting to to get out of that and that stress it's it's been we have to keep reminding ourselves that the stress we're experiencing is 
us trying to make our dreams come true <laughs> yeah. and to not lose sight of that. And that's something that Matt has really been reminding me when we've had to sit down and have conversations is we're doing these things and we're exerting this energy to reach goals that are our ultimate biggest dreams and they're starting to come true and to not lose sight of that. Yeah. And it has been a week that we've been in our new house and we couldn't be happier here. We love our roommates. They're good friends of ours already and you know, living with them, it's just been such a treat so far and Uma loves it and we're excited to introduce you to, to them in upcoming videos too. Um, but yeah, maybe we should show them what taking a whole house worth of stuff and shoving it into a room looks like okay, or trying to shove it into a room. We'll kind of show you quickly what our current situation is on our journey to minimalism. So. Let's go. Let's go. So this is our minimalist life right here. Um, we just like hit a point where we could not go through things any longer and needed to just take stuff with us and go through it as time allowed. Um, so the biggest thing from all this is we want to keep our books but so much of this is just like computer stuff that we need to go through and extra kitchen stuff that we're not sure if we're gonna need while we're here. Uh, but I just wanted to be really honest about like, you know, it wasn't like we just magically got rid of all of our stuff and now we're minimalist. Like this is an ongoing journey. And well, and we kind of got lucky because our friends are so amazing to us and the more sentimental stuff like all of Elliot's Book from books from his studies and Uma's children's books and like you know simple stuff that's really hard to get rid of. They're allowing us to store a few few Sterlite containers here. For sure. Oh yeah, and we we're discussing. It's kind of nice moving from our house to staying with people to Van Van because this is making me realize that like going from a home full of things right into van life where we have like such few things. Yeah. That this is the perfect transition into that. So. Um, definitely it's nice to just see all your stuff in a pile though. Mm -hmm. um, well and one thing to add to that is, I agree, I love the transition because I think it would have been too intense to go from a home and then to a van so quickly. Hi. I'm glad we're getting into a flow. Oh my god. <laughs> it was really difficult just to pick up the camera and start talking because it's stressful. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I kept cutting you off at smooches. Um, <laughs> The transition from home to van. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, because even though this has been really kind of a stressful process, we're already also feeling the benefits of getting rid of your stuff. Like there, us being up in that room and like going to bed at night, and we're starting to feel like little kids, or it's like not nearly as many responsibilities and those things that kind of like weigh heavy on you. So I do, I am already feeling like the perks of that freedom of, you know, relieving yourself of all those items that you consider definitely. who you are. Yeah, it's definitely been like hectic, but we definitely see, are seeing the light at the end of this first tunnel. So mm -hmm. definitely wanted to address the heaviness we've been moving through, but we want you guys to know that we are feeling good. You know, that I feel like that beginning part was a little like, <laughs> but we're definitely um, really excited. We, you know. Uh oh, battery's dying. This video might be a little bit choppy because we kept filming and then we would not get the time to edit. And so I feel like this lighting's really fucking bad. Can we, uh oh, princess. Okay, I'm just gonna keep talking. Yeah, we would film and then we wouldn't get the time to edit. And so then it's like, okay, we'll just let it go. And now we're trying to, capture everything all right here. So I'm gonna insert a clip right here that says, here are some clips of us getting the house ready.
your friend, the, the camera <laughs> of the channel. Say hi, Uma. Can you say hi to all your friends? Can you blow them a kiss? Mm -hmm. Good job. Should we go show them what we did to the closet? Yeah. 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 Let's go. All right. There. Better. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Are you recording me? Yep, you're going. Oh. Boo. I was okay. like, you posing? <laughs> Vogue in the closet. Okay, so, um, uh, so, Elliot's definitely more of like the fashionista. I don't even, I'm not even, but I have a really hard time like letting go of items. So first, let me just show you what happened. Um, I broke our friend's closet because all of my clothes we're weighing really heavy on there. Yeah. The bracket. So we've got to get that figured out. I still have my clothes on the ground. I have my gym t-shirts in this suitcase right here. So thank God for Elliot that is always frantic and getting things done because if it were if you were to always be like me, nothing would get done. In my defense though, I do want to say this is we aren't going directly from you know, home life to van life, I still have to be a teacher. And so I have like, that's the only thing I like cling to is like, I don't, I like to wear different clothes. And so these heavy jackets and these pants and these lots of sweaters, I'm a sweater kind of teacher. Um, I couldn't get rid of because I still have to teach. And so that was kind of hard. For sure, yeah. And then, and yeah, your defense, it's a lot harder when you're a teacher and you're standing in front of a bunch of people every day where I'm a hairdresser and I literally have two work outfits. I have one pair of pants that I wear and three bless shirts you. that I alternate. Oh, bless you. So, um, but that did, I think what we're realizing is maybe this is a sign that we should even get rid of a little bit more yes. clothes, you know? <laughs> That's Elliot's way of saying <laughs> purge. Purge. bit cheesy but um, I wanted to do something nice for Elliot he officially well we officially at 10k subscribers on YouTube this has been one thing that Elliot has dreamed about since he was a teenager he's always wanted to create YouTube content and he's always wanted to travel life in a van and you know both of us are officially committed to this and I want to fully support him in this dream and go along for the ride and um, for some reason, his number has always been 10K. It was just like a milestone that he was gonna be really excited when he could potentially get there. And he officially did it, so we're gonna celebrate. <laughs> Come get dessert. Dessert. Hey! <laughs> you wish. Aww. 
Um, you should make a wish, but I was giving a brief explanation. Uh, why does hitting 10K feel like a big milestone for you? Um, I mean, for some reason, 10K always felt like that's when I wasn't just like uploading videos to see what would happen and pretending, but like when I officially am like, I am a YouTuber, I'm a storyteller, I share my life, and like this is like, like it's a big dream coming true, and it's an opportunity for a family, and it's something that I've dreamed about for so long. Just like being able to have freedom to share our life and to inspire others, and in the process, inspire ourselves to like live boldly and to reach like our love that we had when we first met of creating together in an artistic way. So the first milestone and a big goal of having a life of freedom and adventure and storytelling and love and sharing and, um, yeah, it's really exciting about it. It's like a mission glow. We have to like duck really far to... Should we go higher? I mean, I, I don't even really know what, I don't want to talk that much anyway. Yeah. We'll just... Pumpkin. Mm. <laughs> One thing I do want to say that I'm really grateful for Elliot initiating the YouTube account because he was doing it all on his own and I was exhausted with the baby and I did not buy into the vision and the dream and it's not that I was actively against it, but I certainly wasn't being like really encouraging and helpful. And now I have so much fun with it. Like I'm the one that's always thinking about what we can be doing and I just like get really enthusiastic. And for me, it's been a really meaningful experience to connect with people from all around the world. It's been just really interesting because your dream has always been to go to India and um, since doing this YouTube content, we can actually like see the analytics and the information and we get comments and views from all around the world, but 60% of our viewers and subscribers are from India. And that has just been like a really exciting kind of discovery. It's kind of confirmed for us like, okay, when travel restrictions allow, we have to go now. Like, I know we see your comments inviting us to where you live and wanting to meet us and see us. And it gets us really excited about having that really be able to happen because traveling in like India is definitely something that's high up on my bucket list and definitely a place that we want to go. So. Yeah, I just feel really like, grateful and really um, like humbled that people care to listen to us. So it's just really I know, cool. yeah, thanks for all the comments always. <laughs> so it really nice. is so nice. You guys make our day every day with such sweet things that you say. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what part of the like the pressure to create videos. It's it's just because I want to continue we want to continue creating and yeah. so thank you for the patience and um, as we navigate through this kind of more stressful transition. But we hope to be continuing creating content and bringing you for the journey and and we just cannot thank you enough for like the enthusiasm and the, the just like intense love to us but also mostly to Uma. Yeah, we really are so endlessly grateful for that. Anyways, we'll give you a little home tour soon. We'll introduce you guys to our roommates in the next video. We're coming up here soon and um, yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye.